I'm waiting for, because the timing of this Michael Jackson shit is what makes me doubt it. Every time there's war is going out of control, or the economy gets bad, or something is wrong with the world at large, it's always these moments in history that Michael Jackson will coincidentally jerk off a kid. This is getting a little ridiculous. Like, are you planning this shit? Do you have meetings? Michael, thank you for coming. As you know, Michael, the war has not been going as well as we expected. There's been a lot of hiccups, and the public is asking us a lot of questions, of course. And, well, Michael, there's no nice way to say this, and all I know how to do is be direct, so let me just be direct. We're going to need you to jerk off another child, Mike. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But it would really help out. Or maybe he did it. Who knows? Who knows? That's the thing. That's what I wanted to say. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Mike, God, and this little boy know. That's, that's about it. That's about it. The only reason that I can even talk about this shit is because everybody is speculating. They all think he did it. And I don't think he did it. I'm alone in this. I don't think he did it. I'm not going to say I don't think he did it. That's too strong. <laughs> Let me just say I am reserving judgment until all the facts come out. But so far from what I heard, I mean, the kid said he was dying of cancer, he was in Make-A-Wish Foundation, he claims he had two weeks to live, and it was his dying wish to meet Michael Jackson. Come on, man, give me a fucking break. This kid is 10 years old, he don't remember Thriller. The fuck you want to meet Michael Jackson for, honestly? I remember Thriller, and I just, like, kinda want to meet this nigga, like. I wouldn't break an appointment to meet him. I'll put it that way. I'd have to already be free. That's ridiculous. It's like if I'm dying in two weeks and go, oh, mama, oh, get me in a room with Chubby Chuckle. I wouldn't want to meet that motherfucker. Not my last two weeks. Why not Usher or somebody like this? So then the kid claims he goes to Michael's house. This is where it all gets crazy. I don't... Like, you know, he does everything you'd expect at Michael's house. They uh, climb trees and rode roller coasters and Ferris wheels. The chef made cookies, pies, and cakes. They was petting a monkey and the giraffe, sang songs, kid shit. And in the middle of all this childlike activity, for some reason, Mike pulled out some wine and some pills <laughs> and sucked this kid's dick. <laughs> Folks, it hurts me to say it. And the kid had the nerve to call that abuse. Motherfucker, that is a good host. God damn, what else do you want? What else do you want? I'm lucky to get a glass of a, a grape drink at my friend's house. Let alone a roller coaster ride and my dick sucked. Mike must be confused like I brought you in my house, I fed you, I sucked your dick, and this is how you repay me, motherfucker. This was your wish, not mine. I thought you were dying in two weeks. What happened to that motherfucker? You was, I've been in court for a year and a half. You get strong every time I see you. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that, <laughs> this is fucked up. I shouldn't even say this fuck. Wouldn't it be some ironic shit if they found out through this case that the cure for cancer was Michael Jackson sucking your dick somehow? Like if Mike had powers like Green Mile and all the kids like, please, Mike, suck our dicks, mm, never again. <laughs> we didn't appreciate it. Here. Can we at least study your saliva? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Please, Mike. <laughs> it just doesn't stop, though. It just doesn't stop. And the only reason I can talk about Mike is because he's a freak. He's a freak. That's why people let you talk about him. Because if I brought up Catholic priest fucking kids, it'd get quiet as shit. But, but when Michael Jackson does it, it's okay because he's a freak. His face is all cut up. But just remember, when you look at that thing that he calls his face, that he did that for you somehow. Somehow he thought you might, maybe it'll help. Maybe people will like me more. If I turn myself into a white, ghoulish-like creature, I don't know what the fuck it is, but he did it for you.
and I appreciate the gesture, Michael Jackson, if you're watching this. I appreciate that gesture, and I want you to know, fuck everybody, Dave Chappelle understands. Because you want to know something? I'm getting some work done. Surprise, yes. <laughs> Nothing major. You would never know if I didn't tell you, but it's some shit I'm insecure about that I want to work on. If you must know, I'm getting Botox done on my balls to get these wrinkles out. Finally, I <laughs> have these shit smooth as eggs. No, I can't wait. I cannot wait. And I'm not stopping there. That's just phase one, baby. I'll be like Bob Vila, these old balls. I'm fixing them up. I'm plucking all the hair out. I gotta make room. I know this. I gotta make room. I'm gonna tattoo a gangster ass face on them. Mean expressions like this. And then I'll grow the hair back on the bottom so they got beards like me. <laughs> and then I'm hitting that beach and looking for ball suckers. I'm gonna wear some high shorts just like this. And walk up to women with a confidence I've never had before. Pardon me, miss. I don't mean to be rude. But do you suck balls? Excuse me? Miss, relax. You didn't even let me finish. Do you suck these balls? Oh my God, those balls are as smooth as eggs. Yes, I'll suck them. <laughs> I've played this scenario out in my mind a million times, lady. That's how it always ends. Yes, I'll suck those balls.